Hello again and welcome to How to Make an Electric Guitar Part 7. How to Make a Guitar Nut. The first step in making a nut is to file out the slot where the nut will sit on the neck. Make sure it's nice and flat so it doesn't rock side to side. Insert a blank made from either bone or graphite into the slot to make sure that it fits nice and tight. Cut away any excess with a band saw, a fret saw, or a motor tool with a cutting wheel attachment. Sand all six sides with some 220 grit sandpaper. Use a set of automotive feeler gauges set to the height of the first fret to mark a line on the face of the nut. Add the remaining feeler gauges to draw a second line above the first line you just drew. The top line indicates where the top of the nut will be, the second line the absolute maximum depth of the nut slots. Shape the nut using a file. Make sure you angle the file downward so that the nut is angled towards the peg head. This is what that angle should look like. And notice too how I have it filed down to the line. I like to give myself a little extra material to work with. After the initial shaping, Use a template, which you can download from eGuitarPlans.com, to mark the nut slot positions. Use a hobby knife and a sharp blade to make an initial scribe for each slot. Instead of using expensive nut slotting files, you can notch the blades of a feeler gauge to work like a saw. Stack the appropriate number of blades side by side and you'll have a saw for each slot. The slot should start out as shallow notches. If you go too deep, the bottoms of the strings can hit the first fret. To check your progress, stretch a string from the bridge to the nut. That way you can make sure you have more than enough room between the bottom of the string and the top of the first fret. The bottom of each slot needs to be rounded in order to match the shape of the strings. For the low E, the A, and the D strings, you can use the strings themselves as files to do this. To do the same thing for the G, B, and high E strings, make sure the teeth on the feeler gauge saw blades you use to cut the slots have been rounded over with some 400 grit wet dry sandpaper. At this stage, the nut is about 80% complete. During final setup, I'll probably want to deepen the slots a little bit to get the action I want. Then I'll do some final sanding and polishing. Thanks for tuning in. For more information on building electric guitars, visit eGuitarPlans.com.